So, also because of the blessed rain, we have archaeology completely flooded now, lads. Would you look at that? I even managed to get that big stone out and have replaced it as our foremost standing stone on site. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Kind of squares as well. Could have been part of an old shed or something older still. Who knows? One thing is for sure, the stone is very old. Now, another thing that was found was this log, sodden log, kind of wedged against that big stone. And it seems to be kind of blackened in places, which is obviously part of the reaction. Unless, of course, it was treated in uh, old ways, like a bit of kerosene and used car oil. So, during this uh, archaeological experiment, I found the need to place the um, unneeded sods of turf or earth somewhere and I decided immediately upon a horseshoe shape all the way around. So perhaps this was the start of that process. And now that I've had a firing, I have some stones ready over here and over here is what I've had to discard. Take a look at this. Now, just look at this example here now. This part actually cracked off. Some kind of granite by the looks of it. It's not the only one as well. Uh, this one is starting to crack just there. I think you can see it. Probably won't be using any of these again now. Wasn't very lucky on that front, but standard procedure. We'll carry on. So, the way my Fulkfia works isn't the usual method whereby it is fed by some underground spring. Well, not to my knowledge. Instead, what I rely upon is uh, a bit of a raise in ground and hill. So I'd be relying on a lot of the rain coming off the field and the hill down into there. Which uh, I noticed every winter, there's a damp spot just there anyway, the whole time. So it could well flood, given time. And what I've then got to do is start to raise the level at the back where it's uneven. You see, having the water there now shows me exactly how uneven the hole is. As you can see from this level, it is quite uneven. There's the shallow end. So I'm starting to build it up and I will hopefully find a bit of wood to frame the whole thing. Huntsman's boiling pit. So there you have it. A bit of active learning, if you like. And I'm looking forward to one of the next projects, which will be to rescue archaeology, I think. But for the meantime, good luck.